My name is Zach King, and I run a studio and production company in Los Angeles, California. I get to work with an amazingly creative team, and every day we create magic videos so that the world can be filled with just a little more wonder. And the millions of people that watch my videos know me as a magician, but to two little humans, I'm known as dad. But I didn't become a dad the way most people become dads. Let me start the story with Rachel. We met at our university in Southern California. During the first year of dating, she would help me create my magic videos. One day I told her I was creating a video for a brand, it was a commercial, and I said that I was making a magic trick where I would spin her around and we would teleport to a field. But I wasn't really making a video. Fast forward a few years and my company had outgrown the house we were operating out of and we move into a studio space. But something at home was still missing. Rachel and I felt a tug on our hearts to open our house to foster kiddos. One of the first kiddos in our home was Mason. If you're a parent watching this, you know exactly what I mean when I say, time flies. You blink and they go from crawling to walking. Then my wife surprised me with some other news. This little pumpkin is gonna be a big brother? What? I'm pregnant. What? And nine months later, Boom, Liam was born into the world. Soon after that, we had the joy of officially adopting Mason into our family. A lot of people ask me, how do you run a YouTube channel, a production company, and do foster care at the same time? At the King family, things run like clockwork. At the crack of dawn, while the kids are still asleep, I wake up, go for a swim, read the Bible, catch up on the latest news, go on a run, and make my wife breakfast in bed all before my kids wake up at 9 a.m. <laughs> oh, that's not true at all. But what is true is there's no template for being a dad. It looks different for everybody. Building a film career and a company takes a ton of time, and so does being a father. But one of my core beliefs is that you can have a successful career and have a healthy family at the same time. I stopped buying into this lie that I was working so hard so that I could provide for my family. Who was I kidding? I was working so hard because I loved it. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I started to realize that I didn't want to watch my kids grow up through FaceTime. And of course there are crazy seasons of life that are fast paced. And I'm so lucky that I get to travel around the world and do productions and inspire creativity into the lives of my fans. But the lives that I'm most concerned about inspiring are the ones in my home. I want them to show me the world from their lens. I want to be there the first time they build up the guts to go down the big slide. <laughs> and when they learn how to run down a hill. And I want to be there to get them up and tell them to keep going. And yes, my kids fall a lot. <laughs> I want to be there for the smiles, the adrenaline rushes, and the boo-boos. I want to be present for my boys and the other kiddos who will be joining my home through foster care. I'm making this video to encourage all the other dads in the world that are on the same adventure as I am. We've got a long journey ahead. And there are a lot of kiddos in the world who don't have dads. For anyone who's stepped into the role of a father for someone, whether you're a single mom, a grandparent, a friend, or a neighbor, Thank you, because all kids deserve a father figure in their life. So happy Father's Day to all the dads watching, and to my dad, if you're watching and you figured out how to finally subscribe to a YouTube channel, <laughs> love ya. Happy Father's Day. Oh, hey, hey buddy. Oh. Ah! <laughs> uh.